I'm Sidi and today I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna do this. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about our universe, the Big Bang Theory. Well, I'll explain this thing when we get deeper into the video. So I hope that you are all hunky dory because I am hunky dory. So let's start. Let's see. The Big Bang Theory. This is this is the part where I'm gonna read it and explain it to you guys. So see, the Big Bang Theory. A Big Bang Theory is like um, it's like a widely accepted explanation of uh, well, the existence of the universe or us too. Well, let's see. It states that the universe began as a singularity from a hot dense state and rapidly expanded see this is where i'm gonna correct most of you guys uh it's uh, the big bang theory as its name many of you will think that uh the big bang theory got like it exploded but it didn't explode it expanded okay so see they're saying that it rapidly expanded not exploded uh, as the name suggests over nearly 13.8 billion years to the state that we are in present i mean it's so huge i always wonder i always wonder i like i just love space and all the things about it so see and they're they're saying that it continues to expand See, I'm talking right now, you're listening right now, and and during this, the, uh, the universe is like expanding. And it's even said that one day, eventually, uh, the, uh, the universe will like be so much expanded that it will just be the Big Bang Theory over again. I mean, it's just a possibility. There are like a million other theories of how we were formed, and one of them is the Big Bang Theory. It's widely accepted, though. See, they, um, it's like, um, well, let's see. There is a possibility that uh, one day the universe will be so expanded that w all the universe will just go into the Big Bang Theory process all over again. And then there might be the solar system and galaxies, new galaxies, again. And, well, let's just say there might be some species like humans and they could be, well, you know, much more advanced than we are today or we will be in the future. And there is also a possibility that there could be, it could have been some species uh, uh, before us humans. And then uh, those people too would have been uh, very, you know, like very advanced than we are. Well, let's just go over the process. See, you see this upside down pyramid? It's actually, oh, sorry. It's actually a model. Uh, it's a model proposed by the Russian mathematician um, Alexander Fredman and the Belgian astronomer uh, called George Lem... Okay, this hard, this, uh, it's hard to pronounce, but... Lamotre it, during the 1920s. So uh, it's like um, it's this whole figure shows about our universe after the Big Bang. See, there uh, this yellow marked. Uh, it, they are they are using it from their imagination to say that this is the Big Bang, and after that, see. Uh, the f they're saying that uh, this is their imagination of the first few seconds after the Big Bang. They're saying it was the birth of subatomic particles. And after, uh, after the Big Bang theory happened, 380,000 years later, the, uh, later of the Big Bang theory, um, well, let's just say electrons and nuclei combined uh, and made in, were made into atoms. See, this is their imagination of it. And after that, they're saying, uh, after the Big Bang happened, after the Big Bang happened 300 million years later, 
300 million years later, after the Big Bang, they're saying that stars and galaxies began to, uh, well, form. See? This. This is their imagination, all right? And after that, it's the, f it's the highest level on the conical peak. It's the nine year, b uh, nine billion years later, uh, imagination. See? It's possibly the image, the same image of what we are living in today. Formation of the solar system and Earth 2 in it. So, let's see. It, after the Big Bang, it took 900 billion years for us to form. Isn't that incredible? I just love space, everything about it. I mean, I want to be an astrophysicist. I want to be. And I'm not kidding. See, now we'll go into a different topic now. It's called Beginning of Time and the Dawn of Light. Well, according to this theory, the universe expanded from a highly compressed uh, state. And, you know, extremely high temperature and density, too. I know. The cosmos uh, contained a multitude of fundamental particles, such as electrons, neutrons, and so on. I mean, it's like a charade that's going on. I know, right? The free electrons made it impossible for light to go across the universe, and thus rendering our universe into darkness. That's why it's darkness, right? See, that's that sounded creepy. That came out creepy. There was also a huge amount of dark energy and a mysterious force that is thought to be the driving force behind our universe's current uh, acceleration. Like, the universe is, uh, like, uh, going around in the space, just, like, floating around, and we don't even feel it. We don't notice it. Notice it. Now, next topic is failing temper falling temperatures, I'm sorry, and the afterglow. As the universe expanded, it also began to cool down rapidly. The temperature dropped drastically from an extremely hot 5.5 billion degrees. This caused the elementary particles to combinate, uh, combine, I'm sorry, or degrade. After that, specifically, uh, specifically, the protons decayed and the free electrons uh, combined with the nuclei. A uh, million years later, this light started passing through the universe. This primary light, or the afterglow, uh, is known as the cosmic microwave background radiation, or the CMBR. Now, oh, there's a fun fact in here. See, okay, first, uh, see, this is a picture. Uh, and this is an artist's rendition of the afterglow on the bang starting to leak into the universe. Oh, there's a fun fact. American physicist Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson discovered the cosmic microwave background radiation quite accidentally in 1965, or the CMBR. Along with the evidence, in fact, that the, the scientists haven't been able to find any objects predating the Big Bang. Hence, this theory has been accepted only as of now. This video ends today, right now. Bye!